everybody, Excalibur here, and we're going to go ahead and load our save game and continue Pool of Radiance. Uh, we're going to see what we can do and hopefully survive <laughs> our trek through um, the slums. So we don't have very far to go. We're just going to go through the park here, then up, over, and in. Um, but first, we're going to see if we can buy ourselves um, something. Let's see here. Yes, we seek healing. Heal view. Ah, uh, we can't. We can only appraise stuff. Hmm. So let's exit. We can't buy any potions or anything, it looks like. I'm going to have to look that up. So, we've been going up into the north west of the map. We're going to go ahead and continue that. Uh... The only way out of this room is through here, and we go up here, and then we're going to go south and head in this way instead. So we haven't been in this room before. Uh, this this only goes to one. I think this goes to this guy named um, Volo or something? I can't remember his name. Yeah, this is where he lives right here. Exit. Let's go ahead and pick that. You burst into an elegantly paneled room. A small man sits hunched over a table by the east wall. He sits down his pen and gazes sternly at you. Well, he demands, let's talk. Uh, let's, let's do nice. I may have a use for you, the man says. Some time ago I ordered a special potion. The potion is ready, but I can't leave to fetch it. Bring it here. I pale well. What do you do? Well, let's take the commission. Let's accept the commission. It waits in a booth in the old rope guild, but a short distance to the southeast from where you now stand. Speak my name. Olo. L-H-L-O. And then we're expelled. Okay, so we've got a quest. That's, uh... The old rope guild is a really dangerous place, and... There's only one way to get there. I think we are going to go and check out another place, though. There's a really tough orc fight that goes on in one of the rooms. And that's... Uh, pick the lock. There we go. Pick that lock, too. So, oh, which way did I go down? Let's check the area. Okay, there's a way around, so we're going through this way. Come in here, let's search and see what's around this area. Nothing. I think we've killed all the wandering monsters, so that's one thing, at least. Turn search off, and uh, let's move through here. We're in another room, but I think, yeah, we can go south. And that's the way down to the rope guild. We're not going to go there just yet, because there's like some really big bad monsters there. The old hemp market, uh, the temple over the river is run by some hot snot orc. So apparently there are monsters in here, I think. Let's head this way. Oh, let's go. Oh yeah, there's a really bad fight if we go that to the north. Not to the north, to the, uh, to that door over there. We're going to go this way. And there shouldn't be anything in here. Um, up here should be an exit. Yep. And then if we go over around this way, we go south, and then we can go into this market here, which we'll do. Seated at the table is a ragged old woman. She greets you. Welcome. For the price of a few coppers, I will tell your fortune. Now let's pay. The woman's hands make mystic passages while she mutters some words. Her voice undergoes a strange transformation. Blood and violence are writ boldly in your future. Look for friends where you expect enemies and enemies where you expect allies. The telling is finished. What do you do? Well, let's leave her alone. All right, now this is going to be a really harsh thing here. A really harsh combat 
So we're going to move forward and we're going to pick. All right. Move forward and bash. This is the orc fight. We may die. Very, very likely we will die. How do you break it to our home? The battle begins. All right. So he can't do anything. Uh, let's let's view him and see. He's a thief. So there's not much he can do. He's going to uh, look at his items here. We'll ready his darts. And then we're going to aim manual at one of the archers. And miss. So this is Grimley. Um, he is, I think, just a fighter. Yes. Uh, items. Let's see what he can do. He's got arrows and a short bow plus one and a battle axe. So he's going to actually just start hammering at things. Aim manual here. Fred, aim manual here. All right, cast, sleep. Sleep has to go up here. Oh man, um, I think right here is the best spot. Usually I like to cause bottlenecks. So if we do it here, we get those guys. If we do it here, we get all the archers. Archers don't really matter much. So I'm going to go ahead and cast here. All right, now uh, he's going to delay. We're going to let these guys move up. Um, Excalibur is going to aim here and miss. The fighter is going to have a hard time. There we go. We want him to go. Yeah, exactly. Now he can cast sleep, manually targeting this dude here. Bottleneck achieved. to aim manual for this guy and he's gonna be done and guard all right Fred he can't do much of anything so he's going to uh, aim manually here What can she do? She's going to move up. And Excalibur is going to aim manually here. Ah, darn it. There we go. Um, now, what I have to do is sort of spread these things out. Uh... If I could only move, no, I can't. So let me go ahead and exit. There we go. We can't turn. Let's see what I can use. I've got holy symbol. I've got a clerical scroll with two spells. Can't do anything there. So we're gonna guard or delay at least. Dilly, aim, manual, up here. Um, done, guard. You can't do anything. Aim, manually, here. Done, delay. Done, guard. We need to move people up so that... There we go. Just like this. Done guard. We're already losing people. <laughs> and Dilly's going to come in. 
Ah, uh, enter, use. Uh, ready. Uh, ready. Exit. Move that way. Move. One, two, three, four. Enter. Cast. Cure light wounds. You better let me cast it. Manual. Uh, Dilly is going to move straight up like this. A hey, manual like this. Cast. Cure light wounds. Manual. Center. Dark. There we go. That was worthless. Done. Guard. Done. Guard. Fred. Let's see if we can cast that Cure Light Wounds and manually yeah. All right, they're surrendering. Good. Yep, they all surrendered. Continue battle? No. Warrior takes and hides his share. And let's see what we have. 495 experience. Let's continue. Grimly, I think, has died. Oh, he's just unconscious. So I think we lost one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Grimly just uh, uh, is unconscious. All right, so let's go ahead and take items. A lot of broadswords and stuff like that. Exit. Fred is going to take as much as he can. And then we're going to take all the silver and all the electrum. Exit. And then we're going to encamp. Um, Armella is going to uh, memorize sleep. Yes, and um, Fred is going to memorize Cure Light Wounds. Exit, exit, yes, and Soltech is going to memorize Sleep. And then we're going to rest. We're going to do uh, Increment of Days. One, two days, and rest. Everybody's healed back up to full. Grimly needs to be. So, you go up to Fred, cast Cure Light Wounds onto Grimly. And cast Cure Light Wounds onto Grimly. And cast Cure Light Wounds onto Grimly. There we go. Memorize Cure Light Wounds three times. One, two, three. And then we're going to exit. Exit. Yes. Rest exactly that amount of time. Get stuff done. And we're going to exit and save. And we're going to save over B. No, we're not going to quit to DOS. Are you silly? And we're ready to go. We're going to have Aramella set up. And let's turn on search and check out the place. Nothing. Okay, so straight ahead is where we had that old lady. Let's see if we can survive this one. So we come up and around here. 
Uh, we are facing west. We go through the southern door like this. And we're going to go over to the south. Okay. There's the exit there. Um, pick it. We have goblins. We have alerted the guards. Now these are all goblins. They're a little bit weaker than orcs, but there are a whole bunch of them. We may not survive. Alright, so Dilly is going to move up to an attack. We need to stop the yellow ones. Cast, sleep, manual. Let's get rid of these yellow guys. Right there is going to be the most powerful spot. To get. And then Fred is going to move forward. Aramella, cast, sleep. Let's see here, where can we put it? Um, these guys are all asleep. We put it here, we put it here, now we have to put it there. Alright, let's take these goblins out. Soltech, you're going to get back out of the way because <laughs> you're a coward. Oh man, quit missing. Oh man, already? Alright, Fred needs to do something as soon as I can. And we need to get him taking stuff out as well. Alright. I have to do it. Yep. That was a bad move. As I keep missing and we keep hitting that's what I needed to do there the archers are all awake which is not good all right so the goblins are gonna kill us all off Just a matter of time before they hit. Yep. <laughs> if I keep missing, I'm not going to be able to kill them. And, yep, there they go. So we're going to have to reload again. Oh, joy. The monsters rejoice for the party has been destroyed. Hooray! Luckily, we saved after the last orc battle, and we can come back and do more damage here on the goblins. And the problem is... 
the goblin fight is another nasty one. It's just there's a lot of them. So we might go back to Flan and hire another wizard and have them uh, uh, no sleep. But then there are issues with sleep and NPCs because they'll cast close to your party and put you to sleep. So I'll have to go back and see what's going on. Well, until next time, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Pool of Radiance. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And if you could visit www.patreon.com slash ExcaliburZone and become a patron, that really helps me out because then I can go to full time and create more content for you. As always, Sex Caliber and I am out. <laughs>